they attack their Medusa into Primax. And then they'd be prepared. There it goes. All of our characters gone. All of them. They're gone. We're going to get two more off these locations, and we like that. Nani? This is from Knives of the Nerd on Twitter, and it has lots of heroes, but not all heroes. This piglet is a hero. Yeah, it is. And the two cards, the three cards that aren't heroes, this Daisy Duck is in fact an ally and not a hero. And this uh, queen, she's a villain. She's not a hero. She's in fact the opposite. And then Perdita, oh, Perdita's a hero. How lovely. I thought she might be an ally, but she's in fact the hero of her story. Is Wendy a hero? Wendy's a hero. There's only two non-heroes and I guess her too. There's three non-heroes. And that's okay, because this one has crazy value. And these have crazy value. All the rest, big heroes do. We got the Bare Necessities. We got the World's Greatest Criminal Minds. It's going to be okay. It's got Winter Camp. Let's talk about it. Whenever a character quests while here, remove up to two damage from them. If they're a hero character, remove up to four damage instead. This pairs with the hero card synergy. We have another location, the McDuck Manor. It's just a huge location. It's got nine willpower and gets you two. You can drop it on turn four, but if you drop it in the late game, it's great. If they're being prepared and they don't have an answer. And then the Pride Lands. Well, you have three or more characters here. You may banish this location to play a character from your discard for free. Kind of a saucy thing to put in there. We'll see if I ever play it. I don't think I will. Maybe you put it down and then way later... You decide if you want to pay the five ink to move there and then, uh, oh, if you have three characters. So you'd have to pay six ink plus three ink. You'd have to play nine ink to banish this item. It's crazy. That's so much value. Crazy. We're going to play this deck together on each table and we're going to play it against a Ruby Amethyst and see how we like it. So we're going to go to menu, export, ink table, and play on ink table. Things we learned in this video, when you play your Donald Duck Musketeer, have a quest ready for maximum value. Number two, the winter camp reminds me of the episode of Attack on Titan. Do you know the one I'm talking about? The one at the winter camp? Hmm? And number three, the queen distracted me from doing other stuff. I shouldn't have prioritized the queen. I should... Do what else the deck does instead of like the queen. I was like, I'm going to quest and then do less damage so my Rapunzel can heal. It wasn't the thing. It's not it. I don't know. The queen was distracting from hitting the synergies of the heroes. But I don't know. That's just me. Player 2 is going to start, a.k.a. not us. We have our queen shift line. Love to see it. We have Judy, Judy Hops. Not going to play her question mark. Probably going to ink her right away. Do we keep this to banish something big? No. Do we keep her to heal? You betcha. We are going to keep everything in our hand. We're going to ink that. That's just how it is. We get another queen. We're going to ink that. Like we said, play our queen. Pass the turn. Wombo combo. They're up at two ink. Classic red purple. Not playing a card on one or two. That's crazy. We're going to ink Judy Judy Hops. And then we are going to either play Anna or shift queen. What do you think is best? Kind of like the play Anna, but her ability doesn't proc until we have another hero on play. It's not worth it. So we will, uh, what is it? Play a card, the queen, shifter, and then we get to quest for twosies. And then we pass the turn and we give the plus four there. We can't choose one to give a negative four, so we have to give the plus and the four only. There's Sisu, it has a five strength. We can. Ink a card and play this. We don't need to do it in bodyguard position, though. Do we ink Winter Camp? Or do we get it in play? And we might ink Ana here and play our Winter Camp. And we're not going to quest because we don't want to be one shot. Then we're going to pass the turn. Queen's here for other wombo combos. They play a rabbit, they get to draw a card. They quest their Sisu for twosies. We get to draw a card. It is Lilo. We can ink a card and play Rapunzel. We ink a card that goes to four. We play a card that goes to three. If 
we ink or puzzle play these two that would go to three we'd still die but it sets us up or we ink Rapunzel and we play those three do we have enough for that no we'd only have four ink hmm I think we have to let the C2 run away another turn we will ink this one and then play Donald, not in bodyguard position. We can give extra lore. To Rabbit. Rabbit gets an extra lore this turn. And then we will play a Lilo. Now it goes to a plus two strain. So it would be a three. So we're not going to do it. We're not going to quest. Everything's okay. And then we pass the turn. There it is. That's how we're doing it, because we want to be able to heal and draw some cards with Rapunzel. Wow, wow, wow. They bounce cards. They played the broom, played the flan, banished the broom, question for two, up at four. Rabbit can still do some work, up at five. All right, now we can do some stuff. We can ink Rapunzel, sadly. Play Daisy Duck. Cool. Now, this is only a two-strength character, and we can take it out with the queen. Or, we take it out with Donald the Duck. Two-strength and heal. Two damage and heal. We like that. Hmm. Interesting choices. We have to hit the four there. We'd have to challenge her. But if we quest, we can take it out there. And then heal this. We won't be able to heal it because it had no damage on it. We have to get some damage on our card. So we will just challenge. Get our two damage on that. And then we can play our Rapunzel to heal. Two damage. The number two and the letter damage. We don't have to type in damage. We get another winter camp. We can't quest this. Bodyguard to protect Lilo and protect this. And we can quest our Lilo. And there it is. We're at seven. And then we will pass the turn. That's what we got going for us today. Not a lot. There is Medusa to take out our Rapunzel. She's gone. We get a Pride Lands. We will be questing this to give negative and positive. And then we will challenge the duck. No, we won't. If we quest the duck while there, we get to heal four damage. So we're going to move the duck there. And we can just quest the duck. And we can heal four damage. All healed. And then we will play a Pride Lands because it's weird. And we can eat a Winter Camp because we already got one of those. And we can either play Wendy or we can move one card to Pride Lands. And that'd be crazy. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to move one card. To Pride Lands. And we are going to quest our Daisy Duck. Because that's what she do. She quest. It gets them a free Flynn. And then we are going to quest our Lilo. Because that's what she do. She quests. And then we will pass the turn. They quest their rap. They're up to six lore. Yikes. They quest. They attack their Medusa into Pride Lands. And then they be prepared. There it goes. All of our characters gone. All of them. They're gone. We're going to get two more off these locations, and we like that. Boom, boom. There's our location, Laura. Boom. We play Anna, and we play Wendy, and we move Anna to the location. And then we pass the turn. There it is. We can even banish Pride Lands next turn. Oh, no. They see suit us. We gain two lore from our locations. Love to see it. 
winning on location lore. And then we get to play our little piggy. And our little piggy gets to move to, you guessed it, Pride Lands. And then we pass the turn. That's it. If they don't take out both locations, we lose. And we'll see what's up with that. It looks like they can't. They could sing Be Prepared, but that's about it. Like, our things get us the win with location lore. Boo, 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 boo. We're going to go again. We're going to see if it was all a fluke. Because they didn't play any one or two drops. And that was a bad deal on their part. We like the winter camp. Do we like the winter camp? We like the winter camp. We like the Anna. We like her to heal. She's pretty good. Duck and Lilo, so good. I think we're keeping the tan. We're just happy with it. We don't even have to think about our mulligans because we're just happy with it. There is a chair of Bogaties. Followers. We're going to eat our queen and play our Daisy Duck. She gets to survive if this chair in a box so chooses to attack. But it doesn't get to survive overall. But that's just what it'd be like sometimes. There is a chair in a box. They quest. There's a Flynn Rider. I hardly know her. So we're not going to be able to. That Wow, they get three lore. There's nothing that we can do against that. We are going to ink. Grace Criminal Mind. And play the Wendy Darling. And quest the Daisy Duck. Up to two lore. They get to reveal the top card. It is a card. It is probably one of the best character cards that they could have gotten there. It is, wow. They That is a killer card to get. But they put down the library instead. We get more ducks. We can play. We can ink. We want to ink. Sadly, I think it's Repuzzle. And then we just flood the board before they can be prepared. And then we quest for two. They get to reveal the top card. Is it a character? It is the rabbit. One of the best cards in their deck. Every card is the best card in their deck. And then we can quest our Wendy Darling. We're up at six. We can go to uh, 14 next turn. And that'd be kind of cool. They gain a lore from that. And they also gain three lore from having Flynn. A character with more strength than all of our other characters. I play Chair in a Box, they move Flynn to Library. We get a Donald Duck, and sadly, we have to ink Bro. Even though Bro would give us more lore this turn, I think we're going to play Donald Duck. Well, ink. Oh, does this give us lore? lore? Whenever this character quests, your hero characters get plus one lore this turn. We'll ink our Heroes Camp. Play our Ana. And then we quest it out. We definitely should have done the other thing. We definitely should have gone for the bodyguard. They don't get that. And then that means that they don't get that still with Daisy Duck. Oh, that goes to the bottom of the deck. Whoops. And then we quest with that. And we quest with our Lilo not playing the bodyguard. It was definitely a mistake. We're up at 14 lore. They don't get their six lore from Flynn. They get one lore from location, though. They can take out Lilo. They just quest with their Terran box and put down a thing. And now we win. Oops, I win. And we will ink her and play the Donald Duck. The Donald Duck is going to give Lilo one lore. And then we quest Anna. Anna gives all these other characters plus one lore. And now Lilo is questing for four lore for the game. Lilo, quest for four. Ba -ba -ba -ba, there's 20 lore. Pretty cool questing for four lore with one Lilo. Thanks for watching. And thanks to Knives for making a cool meme deck. Maybe it's not a meme. Don't let your memes be dreams. Make decks every day.